Uh, hello and uh, welcome. Today we bring you something which is very interesting, uh, the Godox X2T trigger, which will show you how to set it up, how to use it with uh, different settings on your camera, and uh, how to apply it in your day-to-day -day photography. Uh, welcome to our show as we take you through. Uh, to begin with, you'll need to have uh, two AA batteries for your trigger. Then uh, on your right side, you have uh, two buttons. One is for power. Uh, then on top, you have uh, the buttons aligned for groups, which are five, which are A, B, C, D, and E. Then uh, Below the buttons, you have uh, the test button, which is indicated. When uh, you press it, you'll see a green light, and uh, when you press it to trigger the speed light, it will be on red. Then uh, on top, you have the hot shoe, where you can uh, mount your speed light on top of the uh, trigger. Then on the front side, you have three buttons on your left, one is for mode, which is also used to lock uh, the settings on your screen. Then uh, the middle button is for menu, which is also used to activate uh, the modeling light on your speed light. Then uh, the third button is to, for set and also used uh, to access uh, all. And uh, we'll show you in, uh, in just a few minutes. And then uh, you have the button, the knob which you'll, you'll use to select uh, different things on the screen. Then uh, you have a well uh, illuminated uh, screen. Yeah. At the bottom you'll have uh, the hot shoe where you will mount it on your camera. Then uh, the locking system is uh, different. It's not uh, a screw one. It's a direct locking system which is uh, more efficient and more faster to use and yeah that's uh, the overview look uh, on the X2 trigger. So uh, we'll mount it on a, on a shoe. Like that. Yes, then I uh, will take you through. When you switch on your Godox X2T trigger, uh, it will bring you to this screen uh, where you see the five groups and the channel at your top right corner. Uh, so to begin set it, setting up your trigger, you need uh, to select a group. In this case, uh, you can select A, B. Uh, you have five groups. Uh, when you press uh, the button on the top for the group, it will highlight the group which you are in. So uh, in this case, I'm in group A. Then uh, you need to select the mode. Uh, you have uh, three modes which can be used uh, with this trigger. The first mode is uh, TTL, the second mode is manual, and the third uh, is multi. And uh, normally you will be using the manual, but uh, you can use your TTL mode if you have uh, an automatic uh, speed light, because uh, TTL means through the lens, where your, your speed light is able to adjust uh, using the lenses exposure of your camera. So you have that setting on your uh, on your speed light and camera, you can go ahead and use the TTL, but uh, mostly we'll be using the, the manual mode. So the first thing you need to do is, that, is uh, set up the channel, and uh, to set up the channel, you can use it, you can uh, do that in two ways. You need to press the menu, then uh, come to scan, where you're able to scan uh, channels which don't have a lot of interference. Let's say you are in a place where there are many photographers, you need to identify a channel which doesn't have a lot of interference. 
So to do so, you come to scan, then uh, you scan all the channels and uh, your device will show you the channels which don't have interference. This will take a few seconds. So uh, after that, now you have the channels which you can use. You can pick any. In this case, you have 12, 8, 7, 18, and so on. So let's take one, like uh, 18. So we'll come to set. Then uh, scroll down, now to channels. Then press set. Then move to channel 18. And uh, having done that, you have set uh, the channel. So you can come back to menu and you'll see that your channel has changed. Uh, if still you have interference on the channel 18, you need to come to uh, menu, then go to ID. This will help you to make your channel more specific so that other speed lights cannot be able to pick it. So you can uh, go to on, then uh, the IDs are 0, uh, 1 to 99. So you have a uh, a big range so that you don't have interference but but mostly will be on off because if you activate this id uh, then you must activate it in your speed light and uh, that's it so we are done with the channel you can come back and see that you have uh, your channel so whenever you need to activate the group that you are using you come to the groups button then uh, you can change the the power so let's say uh, let's say we've uh, set up a group b so group b uh, you need still to come to mode the manual mode then uh, it will be using uh, group b but still the same channel in this case you are not able to change uh, channels for different modes we will need to use only one channel for all the modes so uh, you can adjust uh, the power on the group b by uh, by increasing uh, the power you see the power is increasing here the bottom yeah so what if uh, now you want to change uh, the power on speed lights on group A and group B uh, with uh, similar increments. You need to long press the set button. First, you need to come uh, to come back to this mode where you have nothing selected. Then long press. Then uh, you can uh, have uh, similar increments, but now under the different groups then you can select set uh, when you're done and uh, that's all about uh, the channel and the group setting in uh, manual uh, so we have the third mode which is a uh, multi and uh, in multi you need uh, to press the mode the mode button will bring you to the settings for multi, then it will press set. Uh, this is the power rating. This is the, the power rating which you can uh, increase or reduce depending with uh, what you want. Then uh, you can press set. Uh, then you take you to the power in terms of hertz. So in our case you have 10 hertz. Uh, you can reduce that maybe to 5. Then uh, you have the number of times which you want your flash uh, to trigger. So you can set it to any number that you want. But remember, the many number of times your flash triggers, uh, it will need uh, to, to repower and uh, so that you're able to take uh, the flash again.